Hey, Garrett, it seemed like you had a really good rhythm going all night long. Did you feel like you were sharp from the jump already? Yeah, I thought we were in a good place early, um, and it was a tight game for a while. Uh, we needed to make some pitches, and we did. I thought Gary was on top of his game from the start. Uh, obviously, nice to see him come around with the stick, too. Everybody loves when Gary hits bombs. And um, No, he was... We were good. We were in a good rhythm, and, and I think the, the rhythm got better, um, especially after we got out of the jam in the fifth. Aaron Boone mentioned that he felt as though your stuff got even better. You got even stronger as the game went on. Did you feel that as well on the mound? Yeah, I just felt like you know, I just kept repeating and started to get into a slot uh, and do a good rhythm where I could uh, maybe put a little extra on some, some pitches um, when we needed to. And uh, fortunately, we, uh, you know, we were able to make some pitches when we, when we needed to. It seemed like you were economical tonight as well. You were able to get some quick outs. It yeah. seemed like you went to your elevated fastball quite a bit as well in those situations to get those quick outs. Just how big of a pitch was that for you this evening? Yeah, it was good. We were attacking the zone, um, and we were making quality pitches, and we got some pop-ups, like you said, um, and it kept the pitch count down and allowed us to get more creative um, when we got into some big spots later. Boone also made the comment he feels like you finally settled in. This is the first start where you, you really seem very comfortable. Uh, would you agree with that assessment? Um, I was not late today out to catch for the first time, so that's, uh, that, was a good, that was a good move. Um, and I would say, yeah, it, it felt, um, yeah, I hit my routine on time today. So um, that is a good sign. Thank you, Garrett. Yeah. We'll take the next one from George King. Garrett, what does it mean? What does it say to you when you're on your mound and you nominate JD Martinez like that? <laughs> I think JD just had a rough night. Uh, we made, I think, I we just had a few. Yeah, he wore. I feel like the whole night. He just, whenever somebody needed to execute a pitch at the right time, it just so happened to fall on JD's plate. I know. Historically, sometimes he's, uh, you know, a little bit slow to start, but strong to finish. Um, so I, I got I got nothing to say other than we, we made some good pitches to him and unfortunately it fell on his plate more oftentimes than not. We take the next one from Eric Boland. Garrett, what was your, the team's reaction when you guys heard the news with Aaron Judge today going to the the IL? Yeah, I think I I think I asked Gary in the second inning uh, where Aaron was. And then he said that he had gotten hurt. So as far as the team reaction, I have no idea because I finally found out about six outs into the game. So some teammate I am, I guess, huh? Jeez. Uh, well, let me ask it this way. It's an obvious you know, question and answer, I guess, but it sounds better coming from you. What does his loss mean? Potentially mean the yeah, I mean, the first things first thing that came to mind was like, you know, I, I, I mean, obviously, I hope it's not serious. Um, and it sounds like uh, I talked to him, spoke to him briefly uh, during the game, and he seemed to be in good spirits. So, um, you know, I hope he heals up quick. I, 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 you know, he's obviously does everything in his power to do so. Um, and it's it's a little bit of a, you know, it's obviously a little bit of a blow, but we have a good next man up mentality here, and um, I think I think. Uh, you know, we have some time for Aaron to heal up and, and come back because he's obviously been a force for us um, starting the year. So we'll miss him, but we'll, 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 have to, we'll, we'll figure out how to get through it. Thank you, Garrett. Yep. We can take the next one from Brian Hoke. Hey, Garrett. Um, you know, Aaron said earlier that he thought you had to generate some energy to kind of get up to, for this game today against the Red Sox. Did you feel that way? Um, I I felt I responded after the home run. I mean, I thought it was a good pitch. I didn't think it was a strike. And, uh, you know, I was like, come on, man. So, uh, I, and then we got into a little bit of a pinch the following inning again after the Bradley's uh, double. Aaron made a nice play to cut that off. That saved us a run. And then, you know, had to make a couple pitches to the nine hole. I, I don't want to say his name because I don't think I can say it right. I, um, uh, I, I, does anyone know how to say it? Can anyone help me out? Aruza? Aruza? Ar Arza, no one knows. The nine hole. Anyway, he um, he hit the ball through the six hole. He kind of cut it off the end, and Gio had to make a great play. Uh, so that was that provided some energy, some spark to the team. A couple defensive plays kept us on the off, kept them off the board, and allowed us to hold the lead there for the fifth and, until we opened it up. Um, so that was good. I mean, always feed off great defensive plays in those situations, and just try to carry that energy along with us. So.
And then one follow-up, what is the penalty when you're laid out to, uh, to play catch? Uh, no, there's no penalty. It's just, you know, <laughs> it's just a, you know, a little bit of a little bit of, of anxiety. But today we, I had a couple minutes to spare. I, I was moving around the clubhouse on time, so it's good. Okay, thank you. We can take the next one from Marley Rivera. Hi, Garrett. Uh, throughout his career, Gary has had to deal with a lot of criticism for his defensive skills. What kind of catcher has Gary Sanchez been for you? I think he's been great. I think he's been savvy. I think he's been really intuitive and creative. Um, he's been uh, as accommodating as he can be, uh, always trying to get on the same page, trying to make adjustments, very fluid with adjustments throughout the game, very fluid with his targets and his setups throughout the game. Um, I think his continuity uh, throughout the game showed we had, um, you know, we had a lot of success with the slider to J.D. Martinez, uh, and then we bring the slider baller in, Adam Adovino, and he gets him out on the fastball. Um, so that's Gary paying attention um, the whole game. And, uh, yeah, so that's, that's, that's some good stuff right there. 